G'day and welcome back. Back here with some more Bellatro. Uh, this time, I'm trying a new deck. I've just unlocked this one. It's the abandoned deck. As you can see, you start the run with no face cards. Uh, potentially very good. Potentially crippling. Uh, sounds interesting anyway, so I thought I'd give it a go. Okay. I'll just play this one. So no face cards means obviously the starting deck is much smaller. And you're drawing from a smaller pool of cards. So it might be easier to do certain things, get straights and things potentially, depending on how you craft your deck. But uh, yeah, no face cards means that you're losing a lot of chips. You're leaving them on the table, really. So it be interesting to see just how this changes things. As usual, the early lines aren't too bad. I'm sort of thinking I should lean away from the flushes. I always seem to go for flushes, but I might try and lean out away from that this time. I think this wouldn't hurt just to have right now. And the planet might help me decide which way this build is going to go. Two pair, high card, or full house. Full house could be good. I think maybe upgrading two pair might be valuable. Okay, that's not worth it. I'm just gonna play this one. So the, the difficult thing with two pair is when you are discarding cards and trying to find one, you just don't know which card you're supposed to discard, do you? So there's a bit of a an element of chance to it. But so far, so good. So we get a few more planet cards that will level that up for us, and uh, so they won't be complaining. Uh, discard, an extra discard. It is good. These aren't the most valuable jokers to have, though. But until I find something better, I suppose they're just a bit of a bonus, aren't they? All diamond cards are debuffed. Okay. Well, that makes this choice a bit easier. So, just go two pair there. Uh, what suits have we got here? I think I'm just going to get rid of... I've still got a flush in here, it's fine. Uh, three, three, five, five. There we go. I'm trying to uh, yeah, consciously avoid the flushes and things are making me a bit nervous, actually. Uh, I think Prima Kind could also be pretty handy. No way I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket with the two pairs. I think... Hmm. No, I'll save my money, I think. Two of a kind, right? Sorry, three of a kind, right there. Let's play those, get them out of the way. Now, hopefully, three of a kind. Get those out of the way. Okay, and I might just get a full house right there. Take the money and move on. 1 in 2 chance to create a tarot card when any booster pack is opened. Interesting. I think I have to get this though. I think I need another joker doing some work for me here. Every played card counts in scoring. I don't mind that, especially when we're leveling hands that don't 
necessarily use all five card slots, which is good. It's flush. No, I'll go three of a kind. I'll get three of a kind. 70 times, 70 times 7 is actually decent, isn't it? A lot better than everything else already. So maybe straight flush. Uh, minus one hand size. I think we can live with that. It seems like three of three of a kind is the way to go here, rather than two pair. Saying that. Ah, oh, I should have played five cards. Anyway, uh, yeah, this isn't going to get it done. I'm going to do that and hope for. There we go. Three of a kind, we're going to play these two cards for their high score. So let's see how this works. Yep. Okay. Pretty handy, actually. Uh, okay, let's go for a three of a kind there. That's pretty low. Let me get rid of this middle section. Three of a kind is 70 times 7. It's only 40 times 4. Better off just doing that. That's unnatural to me, where three of a kind is actually more valuable than a full house. Very hard to uh, resist the urge to play. Uh, chips if hand contains a pair. Could be good. Not that point of focus though. Probably should have bought a tarot cut actually. That's right, we'll keep going the way we're going. Things do working so far. Two, three, four, five. I think I'm just gonna discard the bottom order there. Okay. Econ, there we go. I'm just going to leave those nines there for the next time. And that should comfortably get us over the line. Yeah. I'm uh, not convinced by this playstyle. I'm sort of really miss going for the flushes and the straights and things, but. I'll get these to a high enough level, I suppose, and start to craft my deck a bit better. It might, uh, might improve. Choose one of up to three planet cards. Yeah. Straight flush, three of a kind, or high card. Three of a kind goes up again. I might... Uh... Let that one go. Three spectral pack, but that is a huge number to reach. I think I'll play this one. I want three of a kind. Looking a bit better. Should start with these. And we'll get that done without too much stress. Next one does concern me a little bit though. It's a bit of a jump. A misprint holographic is actually oh, I had another three of a kind. Pretty happy with that actually. Becomes 110 times 11. And this could be very good, but even if it rolls a zero, we're still happy, aren't we? So. Next base edition shop joker becomes foil. No repeat hand types this round. That's concerning. <laughs> uh, look, I think I'm just going to have to fight through. Prove my hand as much as possible, really. And leave the ace. Now I feel silly. <laughs> because, as usual, I'm stressing a lot more than I need to when I'm getting scores like this.
Retrigger the first played card or 20 multi played hand contains three or fewer. I know we have the splash, which is encouraging me to pick five, but if I just get a three of a kind with this, that's instantly a big deal, isn't it? Uh, we'll get that, potentially move one of these on. And $3 for each discarded two. Rank changes every round. If the first hand of a round has only one card, add a permanent copy to the deck and draw it to the hand. Uh, don't know about that, but because it is foil, that's instantly, I think, doing better work for me than this. So I'm just going to take that. 50 chips is better than a kite four. I'm just picking two extra cards. And if the first hand of the round has only one card, add a permanent copy to the deck and draw it to the hand. Don't know about that, it's very situational. So, why would I play one card here? No repeats, I suppose, is something that's worth very little. Tell you what though, I'm just gonna do it because I've got four hands. Get an extra ace, I'll get 50. I'll get plenty of molt for it. Actually, that's probably not gonna be terrible. There we go, I've got a copy. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's just fine. I suppose the idea is if you draw a, uh, a card that might be hollow or gold or something like that, it could be really good. Played face cards give plus four. Well, I don't have any of those. That's no good. This might be nice. Mm, I, I think I'm trying to avoid full houses. Won't buy that. I might just grab this now. And we'll move on. Upgrade three of a kind by three levels. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to say no to that. 170 times 17. Uh, that's not bad either. Actually, $22 would be very handy. All face cards are debuffed. <laughs> that's fine with me. Please do I do this? I'm going to take a chance. All face cards are debuffed, I don't care. I'm going to find some three of cards, please. I'm actually going to duplicate this ace. And then no, I want the malt. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty handy, actually. Level up pair. No, thank you. Minus one malt per discard. Interesting. What do I planet? Look for a three. There it is. It's now 19 by 190, which is getting insane. Two planets, last card, steel card, gold card, convert left into right. There isn't any reason not to go for more aces. I think if I focus on them, obviously that's more chance to get three of a kind, right? And it'll be a high value one. It's gonna roll. That's interesting. No, I'll leave it. Negative Joker. Better play this one then. This is what I mean. Better yet. I'm gonna actually du uh, duplicate the diamond. Hmm. 
pretty happy with that actually. A bit nervous to start with. That's become powerful very quickly. But any booster pack is skipped. H Joker. Not bad. Two pair straight. Maybe I'll just focus on the two pairs as well, just to have a bit of a fallback. Straight, flush, full, high, two pair. Yep, let's do that. Actually, a high card wouldn't be bad, especially if I'm duplicating the first hand of a, a deck. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a level in that. Oh, I'll get two of these. Yeah, that just means that single card I play at the start is worth a little bit more. If I skip this one, the next shop joker will be negative, which means I can get, potentially get an extra joker slot. And we want... What do we want? I'm going to do this. Decrease level of plate. Oh, I don't like that. It really annoys me. Um, yeah, that's actually going to... Potentially cripple this hand unless I win very quickly. Or, you know, if I go full house, which is considerably less. What does that look like? I think I need to do it. I need to do this because that's where my molts are. It's the quickest way to, to win. Minimize the damage, and now I can focus on something like a two pair. Yeah, that's not too bad. Rather, it didn't happen, but certainly not as bad as it could have been. Plus 15 mult when zero discards remaining. That's not going to be common, but. It's sort of free, I guess. What does a special card do for us? Destroy one, one random card, add random, full random enhanced numbered cards. Two enhanced aces. I am going to do this, actually. More aces is uh, appealing. Level up full house. Hmm. No. Play this one. Duplicate this. I'll find another ace. There we go. Easy as that. A nice collection of aces now. Retrigger all card held in hand abilities. Okay, no, we're pretty good with that. Might just see what's in here. Add the foil holographic or polychrome effect to one selected card or add a blue seal. There we go. That's polychrome 1.5 multiplier. That would be a great target for duplication. Class, a legendary joker. Or convert to another ace. Legendary joker sounds fantastic. If I get rid of a discard, that brings this one closer to the action, so I'm actually going to sell that and get a legendary joker. Perkyo creates a negative copy of one random consumable card in your position at the end of the shop. A negative copy of one random consumable at the end of the shop. So when I leave the shop, if I have a consumable, it becomes a negative and doesn't take up a slot. Another negative. Three of them. Oh my god. <laughs> That's uh, an actual dream right now. 100 chips if played hand contains three of a kind. Well, yeah, we might get a few of those. That's unreal. I'm going to duplicate the ace. Then I 
Oh, hello. Um, play this. Pretty handy. Gives a nice little boost. Actually, I don't mind this one. Permanent, permanent plus four chips for every card that you play. But I won't this time. The wheel. One in seven cards gets drawn face down. You can probably manage that. I am going to duplicate this one. And I'm going to use it. Ah, oh, the glass card broke. It's annoying. Uh, I think I'm just going to clean up this way. Okay, not too bad. I haven't got to use this legendary joker yet. So if I, l if I leave this in my hand, it will just duplicate it after the shop, is that correct? Might test the theory. It's gonna hold on to that. Yep. It's handy, isn't it? Might just... I can I can sell that as well. Free money. But that's probably more useful to me being used. Uh, duplicate this one again. Because I need to start being careful that uh, losing that hand for that duplication is not going to cause many issues. Clean up this way, hopefully get nice. There we go. So if we get a three of a kind planet, I can't remember what planet it was. Um but if I get that up here then we're gonna be pretty happy. Doubles money. Creates a joker. Must have room. So potentially I could find a good uh, tarot card to duplicate instead of this. So I'm going to use that now. Okay. I'm going to sell. Both would be good. This would be really good. Yeah, I'm just going to see what happens. That's fine. $42. Play only one hand. Ooh, and then I can... Can I get 35000 in one hand? I don't think I can. No, I won't risk it. Um, but I will duplicate. Oh, I should have made it lucky first. Dumb. May as well use that. Uh, let's play that, I suppose. What was that, about 27? So I'm still falling short of that 35,000 I need next. Next blind. Need some creative accounting. Oh, you know, get uh, make sure that this is in my hand. Use up all my discards so that. Uh, where is it? Let's 
this one. This one will go off, give me an extra 15 multi, but I have no discards, so that's what I want. Um, tricky. What have I got here? Shame. Um, enhances two cards to multi cards. I mean, that's pretty handy. I think I'm just going to have to go for it. Play only one hand, well that's those, sorted. Um, I'm going to look for, there it is, Polychrome Ace. I'm going to use up my discards. That's 1.5 Malt. And this is a bit of a gamble, 1 in 5 chance for plus 20 Malt. If not, Nothing. Whereas this is a guaranteed four and four. So this might be the way. Uh, that's all I can do. Ah, oh, so close. 33. What a flop. Absolutely. That was disappointing because I thought I was actually um, putting together a decent build there. It was a nice little uh, synergy. But that's part of the fun of this game, yeah. You always find something new that, that works together pretty well. Um, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you for watching. Again, if you like the video and want to see more, please like it and please subscribe. It really helps me. And then uh, you're always informed when something new comes out. And if you have any feedback or recommendations for games you'd like to see, just leave a comment down below. Thank you.